Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's my first uh, time to present a session in English, <laughs> so I feel a little nervous. Uh, I am Zhiming from Alibaba. I'm the product manager for cloud for container service uh, in Alibaba Cloud. Uh, have you ever heard of Alibaba Cloud before? Uh, <laughs> uh, Alibaba Cloud, as known as Aliyun, is a uh, cloud computing arm of Alibaba Group, and it's the largest domestic cloud service provider in China. And we have more than 14 regions all around the world, and have 93 public cloud services uh, available, which covers infrastructure service, middleware, security, and uh, big data service. Uh, just like the other place in the world, uh, Doc is one of the hottest technologies in China. Uh, today, I'm very glad to be here to share my topic, uh, Doc in China. My topic will be divided into three parts. The first part is about uh, Doc adoption in China, which was backed by our latest survey. Uh, the second part is about uh, some successful stories in China uh, in different industries, uh, such as uh, finance, uh, internet and the social network. And the last part is about the latest progress of Doc and Alibaba Cloud's partnership. Uh, earlier this month, we conducted a survey of more than 1,000 respondents regarding their container usage and uh, how to use Docker in their environment, uh, including what was their most benefit uh, benefits and uh, barriers, and uh, what orchestration tools they are using. And then I will introduce the ecosystem of containers in Docker. Uh, let's uh, begin with uh, Docker adoption status in China. There are 83% of respondents uh, said they are using Docker or planning to use Docker in the next uh, six months. And uh, only 16 of them refused to use Docker. And there are 23% of respondents uh, said they are using Docker in production environment or only a dev test environment. Uh, the adoption rate is uh, similar with the previous survey of last year. Uh, let's move to the most desired benefits. The first one is accelerate software development. As we all know, the Internet Plus initiative has been released by Chinese government, uh, are driving a huge investment on IT technologies. More and more companies began to use modern technologies, such as containers and microservices, to accelerate their software development. And uh, the second benefit is about improved resource utilizations. As I know, many companies in China has a low CPU utilization, about 20%. So it makes sense that about 20% of respondents said improve resource utilization as the second one. Uh, respect to barriers or most challenges to adopt, China, adopt containers in China, the leading to a lack of skills and insurance of use. Uh, many developers uh, are lacking knowledge and skills to use Docker. And uh, when engaging with our customers and other clients, many of them, uh, one of the common feedback is they are lacking the materials to study or learn Docker. And there are many materials online are uh, out of date or inaccurate. And uh, there are two Concerns about the challenge is about networking and the storage. Uh, how to unify a network setting in different environments and uh, how to choose the right storage plugin is st are still complex problems. Uh, with respect to the ocean switching tools and uh, container management, the leading one is uh, the internal developer tools. Uh, many of the respondents said they didn't even use any native uh, ocean switching tools. They managed Docker daemons directly, and they 
care about most is about how to integrate with the legacy system with containers instead of the scheduler ability. Compared to the Docker native, Docker Swarm, and the Google's Kubernetes, uh, the market share of Kubernetes is a little bit higher than Docker Swarm. Uh, let's uh, move on to the ecosystem of uh, container technologies in China. Uh, there are uh, in the last two years, there are more startups joined the Canada market. And there are six to eight companies have raised a Series A round. And the top cloud service providers in China all have released or support container service in their platform. Regarding to the new standards about the Canada industry and Canada technologies, uh, in October 2016, open source cloud legal published a white paper about container technology and applications. And uh, earlier in this month, the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology issued a cloud computing action plan for next three years aimed to give priority to container and uh, micro kernel and other technologies. Uh, the second part is about three successful US stories in, uh, related to three companies. They are uh, Timor, which is the biggest uh, B2C e-commerce company in China, and uh, Weibo, which is the largest microblog in China, which is just uh, like Twitter. And the third one is uh, CITIC Group, which is uh, uh, short for China International Trust Invest Corporation, uh, which is a government-owned company, had a, a wide range of business, including, including but not limited to finance, energy and the resource. Okay, let's begin to the first US story about Timor. Uh, Timor is also a sub-company of Alibaba Group. Uh, with the rapid development of the e-commerce platform, we are facing many challenges in scalability, agility, and resource code. In last year's Double Eleven's single day, all called Global Shopping Festival, it's just like uh, Black Friday in America. Uh, there are 175,000 transactions per second. Uh, to solve these uh, challenges, since last year, we have migrated our all cost business systems to dog containers. And uh, uh, we have done some modification and uh, tuning to dog swarm. Uh, our internal container manager system successfully supported the Global Shopping Festival with 300 of thousands of containers. And one of the biggest dog swarm cluster contains 3,000 nodes. I believe this will be the biggest dog swarm cluster in the world. Uh, with dog technologies, we can easily scale out our workload to public cloud and uh, to reduce the resource cost to manage such a large scale distributed systems, and to improve the uh, image download speed, we have built a global image distribution infrastructure, uh, which supports 7,000 pools concurrently by using P2P technologies and uh, dock mirrors per data centers. Let's move to the next uh, uh, use case about Weibo, which is the, micro, which is the biggest microblog in China. Uh, which is suffering from unpredictable traffic uh, spikes, especially when hot news happens, when uh, national holidays come. Sometimes there are the traffic are three times than the before. To solve these challenges, Weibo decided to use a hybrid cloud to connect IDC and public cloud. And, uh, they have to deploy the applications in different environments, including OpenStack, KVM, bare metal, and multi-cloud. So they decided to use Docker to keep a consistent application management to package their applications and to distribution it. As a result, they can easily scale out 1,000 nodes in 10 minutes on demand. Uh, the last case is about uh, CITIC Group which is a uh, uh, financial-related company. Uh, they have established a 
cloud and the big data service subcompany, which is expected to provide technical support and service to the groups or affiliated companies and uh, other clients. So they want to build a CITIC industrial cloud. They have facing two challenges. The first one is as an industrial cloud, they have to integrate with all the other cloud service. The second one is the customers of the industrial cloud have different kinds of workloads and different practices of software supply chain. To solve this two challenges, they try to play and roll as a cloud service brokerage to integrate up with other cloud service providers and uh, to act as an intermediary between providers and the purchasers of cloud service. And uh, they decided to use Docker to keep a unified application CICD and distribution mechanisms. Okay, uh, last part I will share about the latest uh, programs of Alibaba and uh, Docker's uh, partnership. Uh, just as uh, this morning's general session, Ben has announced uh, the deeper collaboration between Alibaba and Docker. And uh, uh, she helped us to announce a new product called uh, Absara Stack Agility, which uh, combines uh, Docker Enterprise editing with Alibaba's ex extensive abilities in containers and uh, other cloud suffering, uh, offerings. The new product have two characteristics. Agility and scalability. The agility means enterprise users not only can deploy the product in public cloud, in Alibaba cloud, and can deploy the new product in bare metal in their own data centers, uh, while the stability and the security has been proved by Alibaba's last single days when 175,000 transactions being proceeded without any incident. And uh, the next uh, part I will share the communication cooperation between Docker and Alibaba. We are working together to improve the user ability, uh, user experience of Docker in China. And I want to reduce the learning curve of Docker in China. We have do many things. Uh, firstly, we will help Docker to launch Docker Hub China very soon. And secondly, we are proposing a, a community approach for Chinese translation of Doc Docs. And secondly, with the union of 28 Alibaba's innovation center, we will help, we will help Docker to hold more meetups, workshops, and trainings to Docker learners and, uh, and other enterprise. Okay. Uh, I believe there are many, plenty of changes, plenty of opportunities in Docker of China. Thank you for your time. Uh.